Hello everyone and welcome to Mixbus TV mixing and mastering tutorials on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a Pro Tools function that some of you might not know and that is how to turn off delay compensation on a single track and leave the delay compensation for the rest of the project. So first of all if we take a look at the playback engine we see the maximum delay compensation per channel is 16,383 uh, samples. So as long as we don't exceed that number, Pro Tools will automatically compensate for the delay introduced by our plugins. If we Control Alt click here, this volume little window, we see we can see the delay compensation is right now at 15,361. The delay compensation indicator is green. We are good. But if we activate this last plugin delay compensation indicator goes red the delay uh, shows 20,481 samples Pro Tools cannot compensate for that anymore so how do we what we need to do is right now disable the automatic delay compensation in this track and manually nudge the track back how do we do that we go to the mix window and down here we click this arrow and click delay compensation this will shows this this will show the panel around down here and where the delay compensation is the first channel is red 20481 pro tools cannot compensate for that so we right click on it disable plugin delay and the track goes gray so the rest uh, other tracks are orange, which is fine because orange is just the uh, maximum delay compensation Pro Tools is applying at the moment. The other tracks have all uh, one de one sample delay, so that's normal. So in the first track right now, the delay compensation is disabled, but the rest of the tracks are still automatically compensated. So we go back to the edit window we trim our track and we click we, we sorry we type um, alt h and the shift window comes out as you can see i already typed it in but what you need to do is go to earlier and here in the samples window you type the same exact number that you have here on the channel so 20 481 and as you click OK, you will see the tracks are shifting back. See? If I press Ctrl Z, it goes where it was. And back again. So now our track is manually perfectly compensated for this 20,481 samples of delay. And that's pretty much it. Um, one thing to remember is when you do this manually you need to remember that you did it so either you write it here on the comment or you keep in mind that if you remove one of the plugins even if you make it inactive see the delay changes so the manual compensation will not be right anymore so my advice is either you write it on the comment or you don't remove the plugins or uh make them inactive you just bypass them if you don't use them okay that's it i hope uh this was useful please like and subscribe and see you next time